Taking care of conjoined twins is very different. No one's really taken care of them before, so it's just been practice, and I'm used to them now, but it was very challenging now that they're so much bigger. Um, just positioning them is difficult. Diaper changes are difficult. It takes quite a bit of hands. It just moving them from, we move them from one side of the bed to the other, um, and just that alone, you know, you have wires, and then, you know, you sit them up, and if they throw up, things like that, it, you know, it's quite the effort. Um, it's usually like a two, could even be a three-person job. You know, they were laying down all the time, they love to sit up, and that's kind of where we had to develop something for that. We kind of threw around ideas of what we wanted in a positioner. We weren't really sure if it was gonna be a swing or if it needed to be something stationary, so it, it was kind of just like this wish list of a dream thing that we wanted. Hope from Hangar was able to kind of create this thing and it's been awesome ever since. I went over there and met the, the girls for the first time in PT and, uh, and Frank and uh, the nurses. And so I can see that the girls could sit up with assistance and they showed me where the skin expanders were going to be. It just kind of, you know, Immediately it came to me that the shape was not a tube, it was a U-shape sort of horseshoe to support their backs, their heads, and their bottom so that we could unweight and uh, provide space for these expanders to, to grow as they inflated them. We used a star scanner. We put the girls in that scanner, after which we got a CAD CAM model and I would build prototypes. It's open on their sides totally, so all they have is support obviously underneath and on their backs and head supports, but the lateral portions of it are open, only really keeping them in. Um, only thing on the side is basically comparable to an ace bandage. The swing suspends from a Hoyer, which is used normally to lift patients who are unable to transfer, lift them from one place to another. So we use the attachment of the Hoyer as our, our base, really, and then attach the, the straps on the side. And there's a, a mechanism on the side so you can lift the girls up and then you can drop them down if you need to. I see you. <laughs> I see you, silly girl. You said you show up. They love it. They love it. I mean, they're they're nine months old soon. Just laying down in a bed all the time, it's just not fun. And so being upright and then they push off with their feet so they are able to swing and move around and they're both upright and no one's on the bottom. And so they're able to look at people in the face and they love it. I think I really was very, very happy. But as soon as I saw those girls sleeping in it, I thought, okay, we're on the right track. We're doing something right. You know, they're comfortable enough, you know, to to sleep, you know, in this device, which is very foreign to them. We're all here for them and we all love them and it's, you know, we have that end in mind and surgery's coming up and we're all preparing for that because we want what's best for them. Mm -hmm.